Are we back? We're back, but how many people were on there before? It couple, was like a couple uh, hundred, three hundred. Oh my God! Yeah, it's like it completely just went off. <laughs> we talked too much plumbing. <laughs> it was <laughs> okay. So we'll finish up with the sink. Are you, we want me to wait a little bit? Everybody. But, there's still a, it's showing 152 people, 138. I don't know what it's doing. It went now, did you come back on a new, a whole yeah, new broadcast? Yeah, it said, yeah, everybody's back. They're coming back on. All right. Crazy. Trouble and me must be half brothers. Trouble and me <laughs> are next to kin. It is. <laughs> Whenever things are happening, trouble and me, we walk right in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's finish up with our plumbing. All right, so you put the washer on, it's flat on the top and thin on the bottom. Yes. All right, and that goes inside. That's, that's the tailpiece. Mm -hmm. You'll screw that down on there. Okay. All right. And we lock her down. All right, now you're back. That goes through the wall. Okay. This, now the tailpiece, if you loosen that up, okay, it can be adjusted. It can go up. Let's see here. So you can raise it up like that, or you can... Depending on the, where your sink right. is. You have all right. To adjust it. Okay. I've had to have these where you had to have them 12, 14 inches long, or you can have them two inches long. So it okay. just depends. All right. So you lock that down, you got it done. Now, if your sink, this is one little washer here, like a little top hat. Oh, now I didn't see that a little bit ago. All right. That top hat fits right inside your tailpiece. Oh, okay. See that? Got it. And then this fits like that right there. Let me show that. Can you, you probably can, can't grab that washer. Let me see if I can. Do um, and then you. God, there's just so many. There's some. <laughs> Maria said, I'd have parts left over. <laughs> you and me both. Oh, good. And there okay. you go. And then now you're back into the sink. You're all set up. These do not leak here. That won't leak. That's all hand tighten, hand tighten. You're good to go. And like I said, when you heat this sink up with some hot water, this will all get warm and you can tighten it down a little bit more. And you really just need to hand tighten it. Is yeah, that right? this would be good. You're not going to have this great big channel lock wrench to tighten this big thing right. down, right? Mm -hmm. So you can take a screwdriver and a hammer and just you hit these teeth and just, yeah. just mm -hmm. tap it. Just keep tapping it. Right. And, and I'm serious. When, you, when the sink gets hot, so you can just keep... Yeah, keep turning it. Okay. Play with it a little bit. And okay. as you as you turn it, that's going to squeeze down and putty's going to come out around the side. Okay. That's how you repair a leaky sink. Well, good. You know what? I have got a minor leak under my sink, and I am going to try and do it this weekend. Now, I'm going to show you something Tom showed me that he ordered, and I didn't know that we had gotten these. But this is a new type of drain. Okay. So it's no more rubber rubber gasket. No more paper gasket and no more of that. So this is the same thing. All of it's together? Hey, it's the same thing but different. De same thing but different. <laughs> Alright, so this is your this is your strainer. Alright. This is for the Allen wrench in there. See that little yes, like yep. Allen wrench? Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. Same thing you can use a plumber's putty. Okay. Alright. Well, how, where do you get that at? Get what at? This, this thing. I mean, where do you purchase it? Yeah, like where do you get one of these? Like where do you go buy it? Does it come with your sink? You can get it at the store. <laughs> what store? Lowe's? All right, so, look. Oh! Isn't that wonderful? Oh, fancy. All right, so let me show you really quick. I can take this off really fast. Maybe. How fast? Like, like super fast. Super duper fast. You'll tear it all off. I know you. Done. All right. Man. So now, let's say we want to do this one, right? Okay. So we'll take our plumber's putty. All right. Do the same thing. Probably a little bit more than what I'm showing here. And you'll put it around that same thing, right? Okay. You should use more. I'm, I'm running out here. Right. Then... You'll squish that in there just like we did the other one. Okay, squish right. it in, right? Squish it. Squish it in. Yeah, pull some boards out. Then you can take this. Mm-hmm. Fits underneath here. 
Okay. And this right here yeah. is what will draw that plastic up to this steel part and smashes that plumber's oh. putty out. Okay. So what, let me show you, let me before I screw it in there, I'm going to show you. You see the end in that? That's a hex head right yeah. here. So you're going to need like an Allen wrench to stick in there. Mm -hmm. And this is actually better because you don't need a big channel ox or a screwdriver and a hammer to get it tight and all right. that stuff. Okay. You just screw it in there as fast as you can with your, or hard as you can with your hand. Right. And then I didn't get an Allen wrench with me and you put that in there and just tighten it down. It squashes it out and be done. Okay. So then you see this here. Yeah. Take this, same thing. Here's the tail piece with the little washer on it. Mm -hmm. Put it right over top of that. Okay. And it's the exact same fitting. The same thing. Yeah. So this probably is a system that's going to last a little bit longer and you're not going to have to redo is it. Is that new? I mean, is that something new? Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. Yeah. And somebody just made a really good point. Who just said that? Ashley did. If you want to make your own thing from a bowl, that is helpful. Good. So you could use that whole process to... You can, and, and I'm glad she brought that up because if you this right here, if you take this loose, I've done that. I did that in a bucket. Mm -hmm. All right, I, built, I took a bucket and made a sink out of it years ago. The only problem I had in my bucket is this right here. And we did a, we did a, well then cow troughs, water trough. Yeah for uh -huh. a, a bathtub right. and we did that, remember at uh, Joanne's house? Yeah. And what it was, we had a problem with water in the tub. It won't, all the water won't drain out. Right. All right, you all see this right here? Yeah. This is an indention. Oh, I see. Now, if you take a bowl. You don't have that you're indention. You're not gonna have that. So oh. now, now when you take this drain, this uh -huh. here, you're gonna have that lip exposed. Oh, I see. And I've actually had people say, and you can get it, down, you gotta have an adhesive, I mean, a, a waterproofing around here. Mm -hmm. So when you put waterproofing, it actually sticks it up even higher. Oh. And I've had people cut their finger on that. Ooh. Okay, like cleaning the sink yeah. out. So you don't have that indention in a bowl or a bucket. Right. What I've done is I've actually taken a bucket and pressed it down. I take mm -hmm. a piece of pipe and I take a hammer and, and indent the bottom of the bucket. So you make it, you kind of make an indention on it. A little bit yeah. better, yeah, and put them there. I see. But that's the only problem with taking well, a bucket, okay, so a bowl. How did you do, so that's what you, what Rob had to do with the wooden sinks and everything. He did. Everything. He made an indention. Oh. And wood is nice because you can cut it out. I didn't know that. A piece of metal or a glass bowl, mm -hmm. you can't do that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So these are actually, see, that's formed and molded like yes, that. Yes, I to see. To accept. That's that's to accept that. And see, now it's nice and smooth. It's flush. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Flush. It's flush. It's very flush. I have a full, ah. I have a full flush. Ashley said, well, there goes uh, uh, my, what was my tub sink, so. I know it is stuff. And but that's, that's good to know. It's the way it is. I know I've done it, believe me. All right, good. So that's how you do a sink. This is a common problem with a lot of things, but you know what? I really like what we're doing in these tiny homes is Almost all of our mechanical stuff, everything we do, comes from your local hardware, Lowe's, Home Depot. We buy everything from Lowe's. You wouldn't believe the deal Lowe's really gives us. They're, they're really good to us. Mm -hmm. What's your point in that? Um, have, let's see, and we have done a wooden sink. We've done two wooden sinks. Yes, and we we're about to do another. Briefly, once, we did it on a video and got to show it because uh, it's in Barbara's house. We won't clean your house. Barbara, Barbara, won't, Barbara won't clean your house. Clean your house, Barbara! Barbara said once she gets everything put away, we'll get to tour her house. You know, I didn't need to go talk. She came by and wanted to talk to me, and I just totally forgot. So, Barbara, if you're watching, I'll try to get over there. <laughs> so, clean your house, right? Clean your house. And then the other thing, Maria asked, uh, then do you, how do you do the trough tubs then? So, you have to try and make that indention? Well, the trough tubs, we do, what we do is we'll take the drain, mm -hmm. and let's say the, the trough tub's long, mm -hmm. okay, we put the drain at the end. And we lift it up. I see. So you have to elevate it so it'll drain out that water. Yes. This will still be up somewhat. Mm -hmm. So when you're in there with your pretty little feet and you want to put your little toes Toesies. around the drain, just watch, watch out for that little bitty lip. Yes. All right. But majority of, you know, your whole body is sitting here and everything, you know. Okay. Yep. But that's what we have to do. Cool. Okay. Yep. Cool.
cool. Um, yeah. But like I was getting, into, you know, before I was rudely interrupted by Amanda. Ah, what's new? Everything ah. in these homes can pretty much be bought, replaced at your local hardware. Mm -hmm. You can fix these, everything. There's nothing hardly ever um, custom done unless you've sent it to us. You know, the, uh, the plumbing, the electrical, the boxes. Mm -hmm. Like if you do an RV or a mobile home, a mobile home, you got to get mobile home parts. Yeah. It's terrible to get because that's a special industry. Yeah. And that's what I love. And this is what, you know, it kind of, kind of makes you a little mad, don't it? Mm -hmm. Mobile homes have got this stigma with the government and everything. I know. The banks love them, the insurance company love them, they'll loan you money on them. I don't care how old your mobile home was, is, or your RV. Even your RVs are hard to repair. You gotta call they an RV are. guy. You're right. You gotta get the right fittings, the right pipe, the doors, the windows, everything is do, special it's, order. It's done on purpose. Everything right. here is at Lowe's. Yeah. That everything. window bust, if this window busts in a hurricane or a tornado, and man is halfway through that, and I had to pull her out and she I had to bust the window, I'd have what? No, it wouldn't be half. No. <laughs> you can pull this trim off, take the screws out, take the window out, put it back in, put trim back on. Yeah. Done. And I've done it. I've replaced, I had a, I, back, I had a uh, Mary's house down there in Texas. Mm -hmm. I went down there and she, she had water coming in her house. Yeah. And we had, had a, we didn't have gutters on it. It was like our fourth, fifth, sixth house, something like that. Oh, yeah. I drove to, <laughs> I drove to Texas in 18 hours, jumped out of the truck. Stripped her roof, took, I put new gutters on it, ridge cap, tore the whole side of her house out, tore the OSB out, Ooh. tore the insulation out, put it all back <laughs> together before dark, had dinner and went to bed. <laughs> Is that the time that the, the tires were, were batting off? Boom! Blew up. Level. Sorry about, sorry about, sorry about yawn. We didn't have no money. I was going to Texas and at <laughs> Sunday morning at 11 a.m. when everybody yeah. was singing Amazing Grace House, wait to sound. <laughs> I had a boom blowout on the side of the interstate. Had to get a whole set of tires. Yeah. And somebody else had to pay for them. No, I only got one tire. Get this. Yeah. <laughs> I only got one tire yeah. and it was 300 bucks. Yes. Now the old buddy that I was, my old friend who's probably dead and gone now, but when I was younger, he said, served you right for not being in the house of the Lord on a Sunday. <laughs> exactly. So then I went, got that job done and I was coming back the next night, the yeah. next night. I know. The next night. The next night. I was driving back here. Yep. And I was south of Little Rock. Boom. Boom. Blew up again at 3.30 in the morning. Had a tow truck drive me to the, to the uh, tire store. They didn't open up, right? It was Monday morning until like 8 a.m. And you had to switch. Remember you had to give the guy your driver's license? He, look, I had to give him my work boots. Yeah. Oh, that is right. I gave him my driver's license. Yes. In my boots. In your boots. He said, ain't nobody running out of town without their boots. And I said, <laughs> I said, no, and my truck won't go anywhere because I got a flat. We didn't have all right? no money. Yeah. And the credit cards wouldn't go through. No. I had three credit cards. I didn't even go. I had to call my buddy David, Chef David. D Chef David. And he bought all the tires on that <laughs> thing because the two tires wasn't matching. So we got all four tires and I brought the two home. That is the truth. And Randy called. He was cold. Remember? The, car, the truck. You were cold in the truck. And Aww. I was a mess. That was the coldest time in yes, South Texas. It was Texas. just super cold time down there. Sugar. Yeah. Anyway. Lord of mercy. Wow. Why did we get into that? Well, I don't know what happened. I don't know. We got well, stories on top of stories. We're... Now, okay. One thing I want to ask. Okay. So, so you're talking about real quick about uh, all this can be bought at Lowe's. Well, yes. Well, windows can't. But now that's a specialty that they, the customer That's gets. what she wants. So, you have to re try to remember to keep, if, you know, if that company's a... Um, a company's gonna stay in business, or how do you? What do you do with that? All that? I can't say. Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> well, she's got quite a window there. She does. You know. What's her came through? I mean, Christ's sake. I couldn't even throw you through that window. <laughs> Why are you throwing me through a window? I'm in a mood. I'm in a. I'm in a mood. Hey, look at that floor. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it is pretty. What is that? That's a one by six yellow pine floor. Ooh. Have we only got? 20 people on there? I think that's wrong. It's wrong because we had well, to go that's back. That's all right. I'll talk to all 20. Stop! Got, you have to wipe your I'm nose. Spreading I'm spreading the germs. Right You're so gross. It's itching. I'm not, you got no snot Maria or nothing. he's aggressive today. Stop being aggressive. I'm aggressive. I'm a meat eater. Oh, no, eater. we got 200. It shows us we've only got 19, but we got 200 and something back. Okay. Man, we, it was a mess, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, we just cut off. Okay, well, anything else? All um, parts of mine's clear? Yep. I mean, I had another uh, 
thing, but you said the camera won't turn around, and so. What do you mean? Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So, but that's fine. Hey. We'll do that tomorrow. If, and, <laughs> this is tough because if I share anything now, it's not going to be probably for somebody who's going to be buying a home from us. Like, hey, I just learned about incredible tiny homes, and I want to buy a house. We'll share it tomorrow. But what I wanted to do, well, just a little bit what I want to say is if okay. you want a home from us, yes. okay, if you want a home from us, please, we are, our designers are awesome and they want to help you and they want to do it. You've got to make up your mind what you want. <laughs> you said that. you got to make up your mind. you got to make up your mind. <laughs> and I know <laughs> it's so hard. And it then, is. And I thought about it. I thought, you know, when Lynn told me, I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't be telling all these little ideas, you know, and I'll stick to more technical things that you need to know in your home no, and, everybody does. and have they need fun. To make up their mind. But you need to make yeah. up your mind because think about it. We, you know, what do you want? <laughs> exactly. What do you want? Like, and like Sam told me, he says, yeah, he says, man, I got to know what they want. He said, I'll talk for like, we're talking like 15 to 18 hours on the yeah, phone. It's too long. Stop. Just say what you want. Now, you know what? If you want to talk, we'll talk. Yeah. But if you want to do business, well, you got to know what you want so we can get it done, paid, done, get, on, get it on, the, on exactly. the list. All right? And, too, I mean, we want our salespeople to make money, too. Go. <laughs> yeah. Go. We got to go. Exactly. Um, Move it along. <laughs> and, and, I, and, and, and think about this. Our salespeople, uh, unfortunately, right now, don't live in tiny homes. Right. They haven't been in it for years and years and years. Right. They don't build tiny homes. They love them. They're excited about them. They're excited about our company, which I thank so much for that. Lynn um, lives in a camper. Liv lives in a camper. Yes, she does. And so, mm -hmm. and Lynn is very yeah. versed in a lot of areas. She all right. Is. So we're yeah. lucky that she has a, a, a lot. Sam's been with us for what, a couple, three years now. Yeah, and exactly. He, years. he knows a lot. But still, there's only, only you are going to know what you want in your home. That's right. We'll give you suggestions. Hey, when you put that in there, you're not going to be able to walk past your stove. Yeah. All right. Lynn mm -hmm. said today, guy said he wants a 36 inch shower and he wants a 22 inch sink. He wants mm -hmm. a double bowl sink. She said, hey, I found double bowl sinks at Lowe's. Well, I knew they were at Lowe's. They still won't fit our cabinet. Right. Our cabinets are 20 inches on an RJO Freedom floor plan right. when you enter the back of the house. Mm -hmm. Because we only got 89 inches, 90 inches, right. all right? By the time you put a 32, okay, 32 inch rough opening for a 30 inch mm -hmm. door, that only leaves you enough for 24 inches and you got to have a two inch trim. Right. And then you got a 20 inch cabinet with a 22 inch top. Mm -hmm. And then over here, you're going to have a little bit of a trim, two inches. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your wall, which we've made, made on only three quarters of an inch. It's not a big wall. Right. A 32 inch shower. And then you got God on the outside of the house. <laughs> and that's it. That's all we can fit. Right. If you want to go a nine foot wide, I can, we can throw you in a 36 inch shower. We can throw you in a 24 inch base. Okay, or you put your door on the side, the bathroom at one end, the kitchen on the other, in the middle. Right. Then you can have a 36 inch, you can have a bathtub, you can have anything. But if you're going to come in the end, you can only have a 36 inch shower. Yeah. If I put you a 36 inch shower in it and I leave that door like it is, you're not going to you're not going to be able to, the door have to slide. It'll be a mess. You probably can't even have a door on your cabinet because then you're your uh, shower is going to stick up inside your hallway walking past your, your uh, kitchen. Now, well, okay, good question. Well, let me ask you this real quick with Holly so I don't forget that. Can you build deeper cabinets if the door is in a different place? Well, that's what I said. Okay, just making sure that's yep. what she said. Now, the thing is, if you put your bathroom on one side, kitchen on the other, mm -hmm. the only reason I'm doing all this is to give you a big living room. And this floor plan has been so popular. Because it was a guy, the one guy said to me, he says, you know, the congre the big room is the kitchen, the kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Right. Well, I've talked to people, no, the room's not the kitchen. Now, when I was a boy, yeah, the congregating in a home, well, in a home. is a kitchen. Yeah, I understand that. But right. I, I kind of told him, I said, you know, for me in a tiny home that I've lived in now for, what, two, three years, and yeah. I've been in half a dozen tiny homes, mm -hmm. my thing is a living room, it's man. a living room. You to have me, to have somewhere. and you will not find, you will find only just a few tiny home designs mm -hmm. that actually function around a nice, comfortable living room. Right. Normally, it's just a bench under a window, and you're, you're like right up against the you cabinet or, or the staircase, yeah, you know? that's right. So that's the only reason I have this design on the back. It's been real popular for us. I'll, mm -hmm. put, it, I'll put the bathroom in the back and the kitchen in the front, but if you put a side door, 
like we have an RJO with a bathtub. Mm -hmm. It's a side door. Yeah. Right over there. Yep, exactly. Okay. Awesome. We're good. And uh, Tom's wondering, uh, this is Tom's house right here. Hey, Tom. It's Tom, 8 by 18, and it does have spray foam in the floor. Lord, yes. Lord, yes. You got Lord a picture yes. of it. Exactly. That's Lord, right. yeah. Yep. Yep. That yep. is Tom's house. That's awesome. Yeah. We'll show his floor again. Yeah. Show inside. Um. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Let me see that camera. Okay. Hey, Tom. There's your spray foam inside these cavities right there. That's a little bit we were left over. And we do take pictures before we um, put spray the flooring foam. down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And the pictures too are of plumbing and um, that's what plumbing and electrical, correct? Plumbing and electrical. Yeah. Yep. And of course it, we have all the videos we show most of the houses. So. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in defense or explaining mm -hmm. everything and winding down about design and buying a home and mm -hmm. especially from us is yeah we are custom. Mm -hmm. um, we are custom, but we're and we allow you to you know bring your things in, bring them to us, we'll install them. But at the same time, try to be efficient, fluid, mm -hmm. and, and done because the more time we spend with you, the, our, our costs go up and we don't know how to charge for that. Exactly right. And, so, and, and honestly, we don't want to charge. We no. Don't, you know, we do have some, um, we do have some uh, ground uh, pricing, you know, like a, a additional, uh, what's it called, additional design time and things like that. But we, we really don't want to charge. I don't want to charge for that. Charge but, for that. Sometimes we have to cap it off and say, hey, listen, we have went 12 hours here. Yeah. We've got to, you're going to have to go back, think about it, then get back with us or something, yeah. you know. Look here. <laughs> you showed up, didn't you? Hey, Sabrotten. Yep. All right. Oh, he's got a bone. Good. Oh, um, boy. Hey, so thank you for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to go over some resort news. We'll be talking to the Secretary of State today. We got some news on it. Yes. It's not done, but you wouldn't believe what happened today about that. Oh, uh, the state of Tennessee have talked to electrical inspectors and all this stuff. We're getting that all ironed out, and uh, we are rolling. We got a lot of people. We've hired two, three more people to a come lot. in here and help us build these houses. Mm -hmm. So come and back. We still are looking for a plumber, and they yes. have to be. They have to be here. It can't be a contract thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've had, well, I've had two plumbers come in. One's coming in tomorrow, yeah. uh, Saturday, and kind of kind of see what they can work out. I'd love to hire a plumber full time to work Need here and somebody. do nothing but plumbing, and uh, we got a lot of it going on. So if mm -hmm. you know somebody, uh, we may even give them a place to stay if they're from out of state. Yeah. So if they're from you know Long Branch, Idaho, mm -hmm. we'll give you a place Just to stay. Just email us at info, so Randy can call and interview them and yeah. talk to them and, and everything. Um, I want to ask this because I think I book. Um, that EJ, we're about to do EJ. We just put EJ on the build schedule. Mm -hmm. and we're getting ready to do it. It's a big remodel on hers. Um, she was asking this, Amanda, what is the size of the back set on a door that Rob builds? The back set, like the doorknob thing. She got this really beautiful doorknob set that I saw a picture of. Yeah. Uh, but what's a back set? I, if it's their doorknob, we'll just wait. And, um, oh, well, it's, door in there for her okay. so she just needs to tell us what the back set is and we can do it what is the back well set? it's normally the, how far back the doorknob is set from the edge okay and it's usually I think two and seven eighths or something like that from the center of the doorknob to the edge of the door okay. and, and it's a we have this jig that clamps on the side of the door okay. and we drill and bore the holes so she just needs to let so us she know just need to send in that door set? yeah just we need dimensions and we'll build it exactly Okay. Yep. Yeah. And that's and, and her bringing that up is another thing that we talked about with the salespeople is like when we're when we're designing your home, when you sign that contract and you, if you got it up front, that would be great. Mm -hmm. But during the design phase, after you sign your blueprints yeah. and you have anything that you're sending yes. us, right. it has to be exact. Yes. We need to know how big that microwave is. How big that um, refrigerator, dimension. stove, yeah. is it gas, electric, if all that stuff. If the customer is sending anything, you have to send those dimensions. We have to. It. We have to design it because it yeah. will, it'll be off center or whatever. And we okay. get to know if it's a 220, if it's a 110 and all that. So that makes a big difference. So the work is on you all. So design your home, mm -hmm. get your information, 
get us pictures, get us all your stuff, mm -hmm. and we'll price it. Yeah. And I'm trying to put most of our prices online. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and look. There's a Freedom. It's 22 feet by 10 right. foot. There's a price, 48. Mm -hmm. There's amenities. And you, 90, you got 98% of the cost right there. Before right. you even call us, you know what you're getting into. Yes. You know? And so. two, there's, a, there's some people been on here, just to kind of wrap it up, is yeah. that... Uh, you know, the, asking if, if we've gotten a couple of things, uh, like gifts for you or something. We will oh, look yeah. at that and double check tomorrow. Just well, to sure. okay, go ahead. I know I got one yesterday. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was, but thank you so much. I got a Sylvester Stallone t-shirt. It's not odd you get it. <laughs> it's odd you can get it and keep getting up. That's it. Yeah, I got to love that t-shirt. Is it in the office? I, I put it in my okay, cube. Okay, well, we'll show it tomorrow. Yeah, then. I got that. Thank you so much. I don't know who that was, and, and it was great. Of course, we got the ping pong table here. We know where that came from. Exactly. Um, I got still got a couple birthday cards that came in. Yes. I'm actually keeping them. They're like they're so awesome, man. They're, I'm like, how do you throw something like that away? You, don't. you feel bad. <laughs> you, you should feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Start hanging them on the wall. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Have Mark a great Friday. Yeah, Friday, and we'll be here all weekend going. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're oh, and excited. Update real quick on your mom. Mom's doing, uh, all right, mom's, I think, got a slight UTI infection. Right. Um, she hasn't had one in almost two years, um, but we're, I get to go to the prescription tonight, Walgreens, get it. Um, her back is not broke, fractured, or anything. Nothing. So I think she's just sore in the muscles, and it's mm -hmm. going to take a while. She's getting better every day. Yeah. Yes. I've, and like I said, there's three ladies living here right now, waiting for their homes to be built and, and getting our property done. And they have been helping out along with Mary Ann. Amanda's bought clothes and stuff for every, So everybody's pitching in to help mom. And of course you're there. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. I'm there and help okay. her. But everybody's, it's, it's kind of cool. This is the beginning of mm -hmm. maybe what's going to happen in the future for how this whole place will be arranged, you mm -hmm. know? And, um, you know, it was, and you could tell in the politics of just that situation of how is it going to work? Mm -hmm. And the ladies that were helping wanted questions. How's this go? How's that go? Who does this? Who does that? And I said, listen, I don't know. I'm just, you know what, listen, I go and I check on mom. I don't know when she eats. I don't know when she does. I just come and go. There was no rules. And I said, listen, I'm easy, man. You guys come up with something and I'll just slide in and out how you want to do it you know, and how we're going to make it happen. So there was, there was, we had to figure out a system. And that's a part of human beings communicating and trying to be good to each other and understanding and just be patient and things work out. And that's what we, we did. And we got mom um, some really good care. Man went and got her uh, new pajamas and all that kind of stuff. The ladies have been helping mom with changing her clothes and Marianne's been doing the laundry. It's been, it's, I've been very fortunate to have Oh, yeah, you've got have a lot of help. everybody here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you for asking about her. She's yeah. 94 and a half. Exactly. Yeah, in her right mind. She's smarter than a whip, man. She's very lucky yeah. to have so much help. She sure does. And yeah. she, listen, she loves it. Loves every bit of it. Yep. So, anything else, Amanda? Uh, just, let's just keep our uh, thoughts and prayers with Trucker Mike and, of course, Daniela's son. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. If you heard her, Trucker Mike hasn't been in a coma, and then Daniela's son, I don't know if he's in a coma or not. And she, Daniela is from Belgium, mm -hmm. and she's been and following she's us. And she's been talking on here tonight, and I, okay. honestly, I did not get to All catch right. the update, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. So, mm -hmm. all right. Good. Thanks, everybody. We're going to put my sink away and get going. I'd love to show you everything else in here. My inventory room I'm excited about, the new cabinet shop I'm excited. There's endless information we can show you guys. So just tune in tomorrow. And we'll show you more about what we do, how we're doing, and how we're just conquering the American dream during this massive whatever's going on in the world. Right. We're rocking. All right. Have a good night. What do you say, buddy? What do you say? Where's your bone? Where'd your bone go? You know, you're cute. Look at you. All right, this goes in there. All right. And this goes back over there. You know how to put a sink together? Right there. Huh? Look here. You think anybody learned what I showed them tonight? You do, don't you? Look, look. See ya.
You have the plumber's putty. And if you eat the plumber's putty, it'll give you. All right. Let's take it back in here. Eating plumber's putty.